Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to week three of our 100 reviews in 100 days. In case this is the first week of madness you're catching, be sure to go back the last couple weeks and check out the videos. We've joined forces with PwnRank.com, and we're running through the top 100 countdown. Of course, before we delve into this week, I've got a quick look back at what happened last week. Creeping into spot number 95 was the amazing Grim Fandango with a perfect 5 out of 5. Rocking the foundation of number 94 was the classic Quick with a killer 4.5 out of 5. Putting down roots in spot number 93 was Civilization with a pixely 3.5 out of 5. Declaring the number 92 position was the father of titans, Warcraft 3, bringing it in with a solid 4.5 out of 5. Paddling in and rounding out week 2 was the classic of classics, Pong with a 3 out of 5. And now, we begin with week 3, starting off with our first handheld game to make the list. Screeching in at spot number 90 was Pokemon Gold and Silver. Pokemon is its own monster, and I'm not just talking about the cutesy little pocket monsters. After a number of movies, a TV series, a plethora of games, and god knows how much merchandise, I think it's fair to say that Pokemon is here to stay a while. Personally, I don't think that Gold and Silver brought that much to the table after its predecessors, but what it did bring was indeed fun. The biggest issue that Pokemon Gold and Silver faced was the fact that they were targeting an audience that had mostly grown out of their game. Granted, there are a large number of us that still have a bit of a soft spot in our hearts. All in all, Pokemon Gold and Silver get a good 4 out of 5 from me. Don't forget to check in tomorrow, see what landed at spot number 89. Have a great day, gamers.